call. You want to call the police on them for having a barbecue on a and Sunday? You're going to feel free. Back off. I'm going to tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. Everything the way you talk you're to talking her. Talking to the wrong family, man. But you're what gives you it. the right to tell I'm her? Not in uniform. It do, a uniform does not give you the right well, you to be racist. Your elders, because you're disrespecting me. You're now. disrespecting her. You want to bet? When you're in America, you better learn our language. You don't come up with somebody. You want to bet? Yeah. I was you want to bet? Too. Seriously? Yes, I was. Not like you were us. very racist to that woman. No, I was not. You should just leave. No, you should leave and get her away you from me. Leave. I'm not leaving until you problems. leave. You should leave. Just get her away from me. Roger that. It's called the First Amendment, ma'am. He's just losing it. That's it. He's gone. Bye. Well, the good thing is he told me where he works, so that's a good thing. Bye bye. God bless you. Go to church, will you? You need some prayer. God has Bye. nothing to do with Is this like in that show, okay, what, do, what do you do? I'll do the same. Is, is there a no sh talk show? Yeah. Right Bye. 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 You're a very racist man. You want to bet? Why would you say that to I'm her? I'm a Just Christian. I'll tell you why. Because you couldn't communicate with her? Because they murdered 343 of my fellow firemen. That's why. September 11th, 2001. That's why. That has nothing to do with you her. You want to bet? That has nothing to Learn do with her. Learn English. Me. It's America. It's so not Spain. Or call the and it's not Mexico. Uh, this is a Walmart in Nebraska that should really explain it all. Let me give you a little more background. This TikTok video um, has gone viral. Uh, this is a former firefighter, according to him. Um, this is a racist, bigoted, xenophobic rant. Um, but the video continues. There's more. Yeah, you should be shaken. And when someone doesn't speak English and we can't communicate in Los Angeles, guess what happens? Honest. People die. People go bye bye. He's like walking up on us and stuff. He actually has gotten to my face. Now you're going to lie? No, I'm not. I have it on camera. Don't call her a liar. 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 You're talking to LA's finest, pal. I said you're talking to LA's finest. Because you don't know. Because we're in baggy clothes. But this is 200 pounds of ivory. Get that guy away from me. He probably has a gang background based on those tattoos. Hey, brotherhood. Amen. Let's go. God bless you anyway. I'm doing this as a public service announcement. Please somebody get your racist ass uncle before he get his ass kicked. This is not going to end well for him if he continues to carry on like this. There has to be one person that loves him, somebody who believes in him. There needs to be an intervention immediately. Big Waz. The part that grinds my gears the most is when he invoked church and mm. what I would assume is Christianity. I don't think there's any reading of the New Testament, the good news, if you will, doc. That would imply that this is how you should treat people. This is how you should treat strangers, neighbors, etc. That's the that's the part that really, really ground my gears. This guy invoking Christianity in his bigoted, just reckless hate speech. It's it's awful and despicable. It makes you wonder, man. Like, why are cats so angry? Like, like seriously. And then he invoked 9/11. Okay, cool. You know, mind you, I lived in New York when the towers fell down. I was there. I remember the fear and the anxiety and all of that. Nobody blamed Mexico, though. <laughs> I don't know where he got <laughs> that one from, Doc. Mm. Yeah, he's all over the place, right? With everything. <laughs>